Dr. Rona, would it be safe to say that the B complex are one of the most important vitamins in the system for the nervous system as well as for energy? Absolutely. I think the nervous system cannot survive properly without B vitamins. And our energy is highly dependent on B vitamins because we use them all the way uh, through our metabolism of carbohydrates and in the production of ATP and energy. What's ATP? Adenosine triphosphate. It's oh. a, <laughs> and what is it? It's, it's basically energy is what it is. Ah. Yeah, so we need that to create energy, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the B vitamins are water soluble, so they don't store in the system? That's right. So people can take high doses, is that correct? Yes, with some warnings. I mean, there are some limits to uh, taking some of the B vitamins. For example, if you take niacin in excess, if you go uh, well above 3,000 milligrams and you do that on a regular basis, it can irritate the liver. Uh, it cannot really produce any uh, uh, severe liver toxicity or death, but it can cause some other kind of side effects like severe itching and uh, various rashes. Should people take um, the different Bs, like B6, for example, higher mm -hmm. doses without taking the B complex? No, that's a bad idea. You can do that for specific uh, medical concerns, but whenever you take a separate B vitamin, you should always flank it with a B complex because that way you won't create relative deficiencies in the other B vitamins. Mm -hmm. So they work synergistically? Yeah, that's right. Adele Davis, years and years ago, she was one of the first ones to recommend that people take uh, B vitamins together mm -hmm. so as to avoid a deficiency in other, other B vitamins. Now the TriStar formula I noticed doesn't use niacin, it uses niacinamide, which doesn't cause that flush, but right. other formulas, what is that flush? Well that's actually the release of histamine. Uh, niacin opens the arteries as well, so it has a vasodilating effect. It releases histamine so that you can have this kind of reaction where you turn all red from head to toe mm -hmm. and you itch like crazy. Mm -hmm. And some people, it upsets their stomach, they get nauseous, they get very nervous, excited. Is this a normal reaction to niacin or is this a It's a normal, it's a normal and harmless reaction that actually dissipates with time. In other words, the more you take it, the less that reaction occurs uh, in future times that you're taking niacin. And in what cases would you use niacin in high doses? Well, it's been used in high doses in treating schizophrenia, uh, other mental disorders. It's been used in very high doses to treat a very high cholesterol. Uh, niacin lowers cholesterol very nicely. It, uh, mm. It'll lower it by 30% or more, depending on how much you take and uh, it does that without any significant side effects. People just don't like that flush feeling. But can you use niacinamide instead of niacin? Uh, you can use niacinamide instead of niacin, but it won't lower the cholesterol as, oh. as much as uh, niacin itself will. I guess Dr. Abram Hoffer had used niacin almost exclusively in the treatment of schizophrenia. Yes, he used niacin in very high doses, 3,000 milligrams along with vitamin B6 and vitamin C, mm -hmm. and he had some fairly good results with it. Is there a lab test that can determine a vitamin B deficiency? I know B12 you can. Well, you can look at a complete blood count and you can see if there are elevations in the MCV, MCH, or MCHC. Uh, you can sometimes find um, uh, low levels of vitamin B12 itself and folic acid. And you can actually do tests on the other B vitamins, but these are very costly to do, so mm -hmm. most doctors won't order them. So, so in your practice, would you use symptomatology just to go over symptoms with people? Basically, yes, and if I found some signs of uh, a lack of B vitamins, then certainly I would give the B complex. I know that when people start taking B complex, they, um, they go to the bathroom, they urinate, and they go, oh my God, my urine is fluorescent. I'm wasting it all. Is that true? That's uh, vitamin B2. It uh, phosphoresces in the, uh, in the toilet bowl. So that just means that you're absorbing it. Not wasting it. Not wasting Not it. Not peeing it, means, it out. It means that you are absorbing your B vitamins. And actually, they used to use that as a, as a way of seeing if people are taking their uh, pills in hospitals, they would give them vitamin B2 <laughs> and they would look in the toilet bowl and if they saw it was very yellow, they knew that the patients were taking their, their pills. Oh, that's very interesting. I hadn't yeah. heard that. Um, so are deficiencies of B vitamins, is that common? It's very common. Uh, and part of the reason for that is that people consume a lot of junk food or they may not be getting enough uh, whole grains or they may not be getting enough vegetables, they may not be eating properly, they may be skipping meals or they may be eating foods that uh, are counterproductive and so they are deficient.
And some people complain of this uh, burping back the B vitamins, the B complex. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any advice about that? Well, the best thing to do is to take it with food. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, possibly when you first start taking them, just take one pill and then gradually build up if you need to take higher doses. Mm -hmm. How do you develop deficiencies to B vitamins? Well, it's very simple. I mean, if you take certain medications, if you smoke cigarettes, if you drink alcohol, if you're exposed to uh, various pollutants, uh, you know, if you're in an environment that isn't very clean, you, all of those things will destroy your B vitamins. Like, for example, alcohol would destroy most of uh, vitamin B1 and B6. That's most people, most that, people's lifestyle habits. So would you right, suggest yeah. that most people take B complex? Absolutely. I think especially if they're out drinking, one of the reasons why they may feel um, you know, the hangover feeling the next day is because their B vitamins have been wiped out by the, uh, by the alcohol. How can B vitamins aid in metabolism? Well, they're very important. Whenever you consume carbohydrates, uh, B vitamins are used up. Chromium is being used up, manganese, zinc, um, a long list of other uh, nutrients. Vitamin C is used up. So basically, what the B vitamins do is they allow your body to metabolize the carbohydrates into energy. And if you don't have enough B vitamins, you basically will be tired. Does it help in weight loss? Uh, in some cases it does because, uh, for example, vitamin B6 is very important in uh, uh, getting the kidneys and the liver to work properly. And if, if those organs are not working, you'll store a lot of the fat in the liver. Inositol is one of the B vitamins that without that, uh, the body will store a lot of uh, fat in, in the liver and will produce a fatty liver and will, will prevent you from losing weight. So all of the B vitamins are important in that way. I'd also heard the B6 is really good um, in treating carpal tunnel syndrome. Yes, in some cases of carpal tunnel, uh, high doses of B6 uh, flanked by the other B vitamins, very effective for reducing the pain and swelling, yes. And what about PMS? Yeah, it's been known for a long time. The vitamin B6 helps with fluid retention, mm -hmm. depression, uh, moodiness, um, you know, PMS symptoms, sure. Let's talk for a minute about B12 because, you know, in Canada it's very controlled. Once mm -hmm. a month, these poor older people who have a little bit of memory, brain fog, memory problems, brain fog, mm -hmm. um, they're exhausted, they're depressed, and they go to their doctor and once a month they get a shot, they feel really great for a week and then it's downhill until right. three weeks later they get another shot. What well, do you think of that? I think people should be taking more B12, especially if you're over the age of 60. Mm -hmm. uh, the ability that uh, your stomach has to absorb the B12 is mm -hmm. uh, significantly diminished. As a result of that, uh, you're not getting enough of the B12 from the foods uh, that you're consuming. So uh, getting a shot uh, once a month may not be enough. In some cases, uh, I have had some patients, they get depressed unless they get the, at least two shots a week. You know, so everybody's a little bit different, but I think certainly uh, getting uh, more B12 into your system is uh, very helpful for the nervous system. So any B12 that would be found in a, a multi-B, mm -hmm. would you absorb any of that? You would absorb some of it, but the older you are, the less you'll absorb. And you may need to get some lab testing done to find out if your B B B12 levels are adequate. But are the tests, um, are they accurate? They may not be sensitive enough. Uh, some people have found, for example, that people that feel tired, um, their B12 levels on, on lab tests may be normal, but they still benefit from taking a B12 supplement because um, you know, the, the lab tests are not sensitive enough to pick up the problem. I understand too, I, I'd read somewhere that um, B vitamins are manufactured, some of them, in the intestinal tract and that overuse and abuse of antibiotics is a huge problem. That's right, because whenever you consume antibiotics, you destroy not only the bad bacteria, but the friendly ones in your GI tract. And they manufacture B vitamins, they also manufacture enzymes, immune system factors, and many other things. So you could be quite run down after taking antibiotics, and that's mm -hmm. one of the reasons why. So taking a B compound is not a bad idea. Along with the antibiotics? Yeah, absolutely, because you're just making up for what the what's being destroyed by the antibiotics. Mm -hmm. It's very important because this is a common problem. TriStar has added alpha lipo I have to read this alpha lipoic acid to their formula. What is that? Alpha lipoic acid is an antioxidant. It's something that uh, recycles antioxidants, so it makes them more powerful. It's been used extensively in the treatment of diabetes and hypoglycemia. It's something that regulates blood sugar very well. 
Uh, it's also something that will help the liver function better. So um, anyone with uh, any kind of liver disorder, hepatitis, uh, cirrhosis, uh, cancer, all of these conditions are benefited by alpha lipoic acid. So it's something that actually further boosts the benefits of the B-complex B vitamins, which are, for most people, are used for uh, metabolizing carbohydrates. So if you add alpha lipoic acid to the mix, you get better metabolism of carbohydrates. A good solid B um, formula should have uh, folic acid, is that correct? Yeah, folic acid is very important. As you know, it's important to prevent birth defects. Uh, it's also important to prevent the accumulation of uric acid in the body that leads to gout. And it's very important for the nervous system in many other ways which we haven't yet discovered. How much uh, B complex should one take? I know some of them are 50 milligrams. This is another confusion for the public. Mm -hmm. um, how much should I take every day? It's water soluble. Well, I think people can take probably 50 to 100 milligrams one to three times a day, ah. depending on their needs. You know, so some people obviously uh, who are on a lot of medications where the medications destroy your B, B complex, they should be probably taking much more just to make up for what they're losing with the medications. And smokers and obviously people under a lot of stress should take more B complex vitamins. So it depends on the individual case. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.